HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't want us to act like these behemoth, these animals, whether it be the Egyptians or the Canaanites, which also has to do with idolatry. But then he starts telling us all these rules. What are these rules? I'm confused about something else. I'm really not confused. I have the answer, but I'm going to pretend I'm confused for your sake. I'm confused about this week's parasha. We have parashat Achrei Mot. In Eretz Yisrael, it's parashat Kedushim. Kedushim. Now, parashat Achrei Mot, after the death of the two tzaddikim, our own sons, we have a section of the parasha that where most people don't really understand how it's connected to them. Why? Anyone that read the parasha knows this parasha talks about all the arayot, all of the immorality. But not just any immorality, the worst of the worst. Torah tells us at the end of the parasha that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is warning Am Yisrael, warning Am Yisrael from specific sins, horrific sins, Sins that, for all intents and purposes, seem like taboo. Kadosh Baruch Hu says to Moshe Rabbeinu, Vayidaber Adonai el Moshe leemo, Daber el Bnei Yisrael, Vamar ta'alem, Ani Adonai eloichem. Kemaaseh Eretz Mitzrayim, Asher yashavtem ba lo ta'asu, Hashem spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, I am Hashem, your God. Do not perform the practice of the land of Egypt in which you dwelled, and do not perform the practice of the land of Canaan to which I bring you. And do not follow their traditions. So here we see HaKadosh Baruch Hu giving us a very strong warning not to be like the Egyptians, not to be like the Canaanites. And Chachamim say, what is he talking about? He's talking about immorality. The immorality of the Egyptians was something out of this world only to be competed with the generation of Noah that got destroyed, the generation of Enosh before him that got destroyed, most of them, a third of the world died even before Parashat Noah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu flooded the world. Most people think that the flood of Noah was the only flood. There were several floods that HaKadosh Baruch Hu did, just not as big as Noah. Generation of Enosh also had a big destruction. Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed, Egypt destroyed. Chamim say this all has to do with immorality. Where homosexuality not only became standard, but it became kosher. They started advertising it as this is something you can get a ketubah, men and men. Unfortunately, something that's happening today. Adultery, standard. Unfortunately, something that's happening today. All types of filth, standard. HaKadosh Baruch Hu couldn't deal with it. From there, Chachamim say that this is even worse than idolatry. But then the Torah tells us, HaKadosh Baruch Hu doesn't want us to act like these behemoth, these animals, whether it be the Egyptians or the Canaanites, which also has to do with idolatry. But then he starts telling us all these rules. What are these rules? A man should not approach his close relative to uncover nakedness. I am a shem. Okay, what kind of relative? Nakedness of a father or your mother or your brother, or your sister, or your father's wife, even if she's not your mom. 
or your daughter or your son. In so many words, incest. Now if I were to give this shoe 40 years ago, most of the crowd would have gone up and left. Why? It wasn't relevant back then. When I was a boy, years ago, to be homosexual was something that most people hid. It existed since the beginning of time. It's something that HaKadosh Baruch Hu calls an abomination, where all of these sins of incest are not called an abomination. Mother with son, father with daughter, brother and sister, not called an abomination. But at the end it says, that you shall not lie, not lie with a man as, as one lies with a woman. It's an abomination. Chachamim say, look, all of the incest, brother, sister, mother, son, all this disgusting stuff, taboo. Kadosh Baruch Hu say it's, it's not an abomination. It's forbidden. It's death penalty. It's genom. But it's not an abomination. Homosexuality, abomination. Bestiality, abomination. Why? That's against nature. A brother being attracted to his sister or a father to his daughter, it's not against nature. To us, it's not normal because we're trying to be normal people or decent people. I should say normal is not really normal anymore. But it's not against nature. You're not defying nature because any metoav, any, any, any of these homosexuals that walks around promoting homosexuality in Disneyland, and on the TV, and in Hollywood, and all this stuff, we could only wish one thing of them. If they don't do tshuva, we wish something else. We wish that their father was also homosexual, because that way they wouldn't come to the world. But then, that would bring us back to the past. The interesting thing is here, the Torah tells us that all of these things are horrific. Not as bad as homosexuality, but yet, we're asking ourselves, how does that have to do with me? Why do I have to read this parasha every year about brother and sister, this disgusting stuff? Further, after Kadosh Baruch Hu lists all of these different sins in this week's parasha, and then he singles out the homosexuality being an abomination, he reminds us again, don't become contaminated through any of these. Meaning now he's putting everything in one package again. The abomination and in essence the non-abomination. It's all back in one package. Don't be contaminated by, through any of them. For through all of these, the nations that I expelled from before you became contaminated. All of this filth, this unnatural and natural forbidden relations, this has been the standard among the nations since the beginning of time. Uh,